Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my apartment tour. My name is Snolly and I have been living in this apartment since last June and it is finally time to film an apartment tour. I feel like I've been so caught up in just wanting to get new pieces here and there, but I feel like if I don't film it now, it's never gonna happen. So I'm really excited to share my apartment tour with you guys finally. And huge shout out to Smart City who is sponsoring this video. If you guys remember last year, I actually partnered with Smart City on my whole apartment hunting process. I toured probably over 30 apartments here in the Austin area and I filmed it all for you guys on my YouTube channel. So I will have that playlist linked down below. If you are searching for an apartment, whether you're just moving to Austin or you've been living here for a couple of years now, but you just want to switch up the area, I highly recommend checking out Smart City. They are an apartment locator and the service is completely free to you. They just get the referral fee at the end when you sign with an apartment. Their team of local licensed real estate agents are there to help you find the perfect apartment. So basically, if I wanted, you know, white backsplash or just like white cabinets in my kitchen, I would go and tell them that's what I want and they would kind of set up tours from there. So it's a very easy process and just their knowledge about the area is very helpful for someone who is new to the area. Smart City is based in Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio, Austin, Atlanta, Denver, and Chicago. So if you're in one of those areas, you are good to go and you're gonna find your dream home. I just know it. I will have a link to Smart City in the description box below. If you guys are looking for a new apartment, definitely check them out. So let's get straight into the apartment tour. Ryan and I actually moved from Riverside here in Austin over to the east side and we have been loving it. We are in a two bedroom, two bathroom and this is how much we pay for rent. I am putting it on screen because I am not quite sure because we had six weeks free in the beginning because we were one of the first people that actually moved into this apartment and we have been loving it so far. A lot of the furniture is the same from the last apartment, but I did get some new pieces and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Turned on the lights for you guys so you can see everything that there is to see, but we're starting off with these stools that I'm pretty sure were in my last apartment. I found these on Facebook Marketplace and when I first got to Austin, I was straight out of college, so I tried to save as much as I could and just kind of DIY and I painted them white and I think they're so cute. And then coming into here, we have the pantry over here which we definitely lost space in this whole apartment in general. So the pantry could use some work and I just definitely need to take a day to organize all of that, but it is what it is. And this apartment compared to our last place, I think was 200 square feet smaller. So it definitely is a little bit of a smaller space, but we do live in a better location definitely closer downtown. So once you start getting a little closer downtown, spaces are gonna be a little bit smaller, which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Okay, so over here we have like our pasta, just kind of random stuff, popcorn, soups, all that kind of stuff. Then we got our fridge, which I feel like there's no reason to see this because there's nothing really that great in there. There's probably some things that are going bad. <laughs> Over here we have a little corner and this is like one of my favorite things about this kitchen in specific because our last kitchen was just kind of like straight but over here I feel like you could just hide a lot of stuff. So right here we have my air fryer which I finally caved in and purchased a full air fryer. I had an instant pot air fryer but it was just so annoying to get it out every single time so I scratched it and went with the air fryer that could just sit on our countertop. Then we have my toaster, which I feel like I got a lot of inspiration from like a Smeg toaster, but it's like so cheap on Amazon and it's linked in my kitchen category on Amazon. And then we have Ryan's Nespresso area right here, um, which I definitely use sometimes. Um, and then we have these really cute flour and sugar jars also from Amazon. You're definitely gonna see that a lot of stuff in my home is from Amazon and I will definitely go ahead and link my Amazon storefront down below and I have like all of the home organization, kitchen tools, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys are moving into a new apartment, definitely go check that out. But over here we have my Ikea vase, some nice beautiful flowers that Ryan got me, and then this olive oil jar that I got on Amazon and this beautiful 
vintage cutting board, which I really want to style my kitchen a little bit better, like maybe even add some cookbooks or a couple more vintage um, cutting boards, but this is also from Amazon. In this other corner of the kitchen, we got my KitchenAid mixer and our beautiful knives. We actually like invested in some new knives this year and they are perfect and they honestly encourage me to cook more and just like prep more because they aren't like so frustrating to cut things with. It really does change the game when you have like actually sharp knives in your kitchen. Um, but this KitchenAid mixer was bought during the pandemic and it was like one of my first like big girl purchases for like kitchen appliances. And do I use it that often? No, but I still am really grateful that I have it because when I do use it, I love it so much. So off the kitchen, we are gonna go into the second bedroom and bath. So this is the guest bathroom and we have very updated bathrooms in this apartment which is what I loved about this specific building um, because our other apartment was more like condos and it was really nice don't get me wrong and it was way bigger but specifically the bathrooms weren't as updated as I would have liked so we have like the really nice finishes with the black hardware and just like the gray countertops which I would have loved them to be white but you know you can't be picky with everything. But I think this is just such a nice bathroom. Over here we have a lot of nice storage and I just recently organized everything. I put it in a recent vlog, but how beautiful is this? It's like my own little mini Sephora. And also down here, we got my hair products and I'm just obsessed with all of this little organization stuff. They're acrylic risers that I got from Amazon as well. Just right off the bathroom, we are walking into our second bedroom. This is our guest room, my filming room, Brian's closet room, the office, literally everything you can imagine, but this is my safe space. So first we are gonna start off over here. So this desk is actually from Wayfair and I'm not sure if I still have the link for it because it might not be online anymore just because it was from years ago. Um, and then this chair is also from Wayfair and it's a beautiful, comfy, super comfy chair. I love it so much. I recently got a laptop stand and a phone stand and it's actually been so game changing because you can actually like sit up properly and not be hunched over over your desk. So it's really great and I highly recommend it. It's also from Amazon. Um, and then, ooh, let's talk about my mirror. Okay, well this one I got on Facebook Marketplace and then this one is from Ikea, which I recently got. And it is massive compared to the last one I have and I love it for my mirror selfies, outfit of the days, you already know the drill. And then coming over here, we have these curtains from Amazon. If you guys watch the vlogs, you know how many curtains I had to go through to finally land on these, but I'm very happy with them. They're beautiful, they're like this linen white texture and I think they make the room looks so dreamy. I actually recently got them within the past couple of months and it's really just changed the vibe of this room as a whole. And then over here we have my cactus, which if you have a green thumb and you know a lot about cacti, please help a girl out. I have no idea what to do, but it started getting like really skinny at the top. So we actually like cut it off because I read online that it would grow fast, but it's not healing quite as nicely as I would have hoped. So I don't know. I definitely know it needs a lot more sunlight, but I thought this room gets a lot of sun, so I'm really confused about it. But anyways, I love this cactus so much. I got it from East Austin Succulents, and I thought it was very fitting since we've moved over the east side. So over here are my newest purchases for the apartment. So we'll start with the poof. This is from CB2, and it's called the Boucle Poof, I believe. And basically, I thought it was just really perfect for if I wanted to sit on the couch, I could put my feet up, or if if I was working on my desk, I could put my feet up over there, like put it under it. So I love this poof so much. And then this couch is my pride and joy. It is from West Elm. It is the Harmony Sofa and it's actually a sleeper sofa. So you can fold it out and it becomes a bed, which is amazing because I have wanted like a sleeper sofa for so long because I can actually use this as an office while no one's here. And then if we have guests over, they can always sleep over and we'll have a second bed for them. And a big plus for this couch is that it has a performance fabric. So it's really easy to clean and it just doesn't really even get stained at all. So I got the whitest of the white colors that I could get and I'm so happy with it, it's gorgeous. Last thing I wanna show you guys is this rug, which I found on Etsy and it's a neutral girl's 
dream it has all these little abstract prints on it and I thought it was perfect to tie in this whole space because in the bedrooms they do have carpets but in the living room there are hardwoods which I still wanted rugs to just make it feel a little bit homier. Now we're gonna go into the living room really quick which I feel like I've talked about this couch for so long and it is my pride and joy. It was like one of my first post-grad purchases and all I knew was that I wanted a white couch and I got it. It is from Wayfair and it is honestly the most comfortable couch. We chill on it, we nap on it, we honestly eat here 90% of the time because we don't have a dining room table. So we love this couch so much and we've had it for almost three years now and we got it in the color Conversation Pearl so it's not completely white so you can kind of tell our walls are white and it's kind of like a shade off, but I think it's still beautiful and very comfortable. And I'm so glad that I actually went with my gut and purchased that on Wayfair. And then moving into the coffee table, I feel like whenever I post TikToks of my apartment, everyone always asks where this is from. We found it on Facebook Marketplace. And I remember when I asked the girl where she got it from, just to you know, know, just for future reference, she said they got it custom made in California, I believe that's what she said. So I'm not sure if you could find a similar piece, but if your boyfriend, husband, significant other, dad knows how to do woodworking, I feel like it's pretty easy to kind of just mimic. Our rug is from Ruggable. And then over here, we have this big mirror from TJ Maxx. This piece was actually in our last apartment too, and it's kind of like a reworked piece. One of Ryan's family friends found it and painted it white, added new hardware, and I think it fits the space perfectly. And then we have just some little knickknacks over here, a beautiful Target candle, the Scout Guide for Austin. It's such a beautiful book, and I feel like it's a perfect for coffee table book. And then we have this thing, which I also found on Facebook Marketplace. And then I'm not sure if I told you guys the story about this in my last apartment tour, but this stick means a lot to me because my mom found it when we were so freaking young in Hilton Head. And whenever I see driftwood, I think about her and I don't know, I just think it's a really cool piece. So we like to have that there. And then we just have like a big speaker. And then my other favorite postgrad purchase is this Roku TV. Smart TVs are a game changer. Walking into the master bedroom, this is my beautiful bed, so comfortable, and I sleep like a freaking princess at night. Um, this bedding is from Amazon. It's like this linen texture. For years, I was stuck to just like a white duvet bedding, but I decided to go a little darker. Not, not anything too extreme. You guys know me. I still love my neutrals. Um, and then I found this beautiful mud cloth pillow from Etsy and it was actually just the cover, um, but it is stunning and it's like one of my favorite pieces in our bedroom. This print up here as well as the living room prints are from Decenio. This headboard is custom made. I actually found some guy on Next Door Neighbor to make it for us. I wanted this like hair and bone pattern and he did an amazing job. It's made with post oak wood and I think the color just kind of like complements all of our wood pieces in this space. So moving on to our bedside tables, these are from Facebook Marketplace as well, but I'm pretty sure they are the Opal House brand in Target and then this lamp is also from Target. This piece is also new to this apartment. This is from Wayfair. I didn't really find a dresser that I loved, but since we did downgrade, especially on our closet spaces, we needed a dresser. So I found this one and I love the little gold details because I'm definitely a gold gal. Last but not least, we're here in the master bathroom and the best thing about this apartment is that it had his and her sinks because our last apartment did and whenever I was touring apartments even the two bedroom two bathroom apartments sometimes did not have the two sinks which I was like mm, not gonna happen so I'm really glad that this place had it and again the finishes are so beautiful the black hardware very modern very me over here we have this nice little linen closet which is really nice for just storage in general I have some towels in here miscellaneous and then this is also Ryan's second closet because he did get the smaller closet in the guest bedroom another thing that really sold us about this apartment was how massive the shower was because our last apartment we did have a glass door but it was so small that we could 
barely move, I can barely shave my legs. And I really liked the subway tile. And again, it's just really modern and updated. Like I said, Ryan has the guest bedroom closet and I got the walk-in. So thank you, Ryan, for taking one for the team. I did have to downgrade with my closet space. I don't know if you guys do remember the last apartment, but it was like a room for a closet in itself. And it was crazy how much space I had. So coming here, seeing this closet was a bit of a shock to me. I'm trying to do my best with storage. For example, I just put up these winter coats in this vacuum sealed bag up here. And then there's just like a lot of storage, a lot of shelves, which is very much appreciated. And then they also have these built-in shelves, which is really nice for storage. So I kind of put all of my accessories like purses, hats, swimsuits, shoes, all that kind of stuff. And then more shoes are up here. There's also a shoe rack on the back of the door with pretty much all of my shoes. And then over here, I kind of love to put just clothes that I've just recently gotten in so I know what to shoot for Instagram photos or just like what to wear on TikToks. And honestly, just to remind myself what I have that's new to wear out because sometimes things just get hidden. I definitely lied, the master bedroom was not last, but the balcony is. And we have this little love seat. We got it from Walmart for our last apartment. The balcony was a lot bigger in our last apartment, but the view is even better in this apartment. So that wraps up this apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it and definitely be sure to check out Smart City for all of your apartment finding needs. Again, it is a totally free service and I highly, highly recommend it because it'll seriously make your life 100% easier. I will have the link in the description down below and I'll also try to link any furniture pieces that I can find for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I make a lot of Austin content, weekly vlogs, lifestyle videos, all of the above. and. I I will also have my Austin videos playlist linked down below. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram and TikTok, those are both at so underscore gnarly. And I hope to see you guys over there. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.